I mean, this is uh, the, here is Kellyanne Conway trying to defend the ban on refugees. Uh, she was on Hardball with Chris Matthews, and um, she's just spitballing a little bit here, and um, you know, cites of course the Bowling Green uh, massacre. Let's hear. I bet there was very little coverage. I bet, I bet it's brand new information to people that President Obama had a six-month ban on the Iraqi refugee program after two Iraqis came here to this country, mm -hmm. were radicalized, and there were the master, masterminds behind the Bowling Green Massacre. Well, most people don't know that because it didn't get covered. Let's talk about the major strategic goal of this administration. Now, um, that's probably why uh, he didn't know about the... <laughs> Chris he Matthews did, didn't a, question that. He didn't go on to say, like, what exactly is that? The Bowling Green Massacre? I mean, maybe, you know, it sounds like it's something. <laughs> no, but I, I actually, I, I'm, I'll sound, I'll give him benefit of doubt for a second. For all my criticisms of Chris Matthews, he's never struck me as someone who would com be, like, completely unaware of something like that, you know? In the, the sense of calling that out. The Bowling Green Massacre was turns out not to be a massacre um it was that two iraqis in kentucky were arrested faced federal terrorism charges um that after they got information from an informant before he had been granted in the united states um, this is weird, but one of them supposedly had constructed improvised roadside bombs in Iraq. And supposedly the FBI found, after examining fragments from bomb parts, found some of his fingerprints on a cordless phone that had been wired to detonate uh, in 2005, a bomb. Now, of course, the story was heavily covered, which is why President Obama put a moratorium on, or I don't know if it was more, but it was a uh, new, more extensive background checks on Iraqi refugees. And then it ended up delaying some of the visa pro approvals. So that is what uh, she's referencing. Now, we have had uh, no such um, situation from those seven countries. Uh, and denying refugees entrance. And incidentally, these vetting procedures are in place now. I would, yeah. They're very extensive vetting procedures. We put out a video on it. It's a multi-year, multi-agency. These multi same vetting process. procedures are in place now, and they're extremely they're extreme. In fact, there's extreme vetting. And then she came back, I guess, uh, Kellyanne Conway, and said, "Well, I, I wasn't talking about the massacre. I was talking about those two guys." Um, so the massacre really just refers to the arrest of those two guys. Can Mindy call in, please? <laughs> exactly. So there was no actual massacre. And in other words, the arrest of those two guys suggests that our system works. And remember, these are also not, um, individuals who did anything in this country. And there's no indication they were planning anything in this country. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.